Today I will introduce to you a problem that we often encounter when operating a refinery, which is how to identify a passing valve or not. The most basic principle to realize is based on changes in the material balance and heat balance including temperature, level, and pressure. For example, with the block valve in this figure, we have some steps to recognize whether this valve is passing or not. Step 1, confirm the valve which need to check passing is already fully closed. Step 2, ensure the upstream and downstream systems are already isolated or keep the stable condition. Step 3, we will confirm have any changing in downstream and upstream of this valve. We can see more detailed by some examples to apply this method. The first example is with the systems S1 and S2. After isolating these systems, we see the pressure of S2 increase and S1 decrease day by day. We can conclude that V1 is passing. The second example, with the upstream system, is steam. With the steam system, the pressure and temperature almost keep stable. We can confirm valve V1 passing by the temperature of downstream system T2. After fully closing V1, the temperature firstly will reduce. But after stopping steam long time, if temperature T2 increases again day by day, we can conclude that valve V1 is passing. The next example is with two isolated systems S1 and S2 with levels L1 and L2. After we fully close V1, if the level L1 still decreases and level L2 still increases, we can conclude that valve V1 is passing. As you can see, we have many ways to detect whether the valve is passing or not. But the basic principle is changing in material balance and heat balance. Please apply it for another case. Thank you for your watching video. If you feel this video is useful, please subscribe to my channel.